What's up guys, in today's episode I go over the Randall RH200 G2. Stay tuned. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, and yo, where are my haters at? Uh, it's funny, so... <laughs> over the last few days, you know, I've had just a bunch of guys who are just the, the, the biggest haters, and yo, I laugh and love that, because I sit back and I'm like, yo, kid, you're watching my YouTube channel, writing all this hate mail, and I laugh, because... You know, this is just a hobby, you know? That's like going to a golf club and just poking fun of people. It's just like, yo, they're not pros. I'm not a pro. Are you a pro? You know, most of you guys aren't. And you know what? It is a hobby and we all have fun and we all have this brotherhood together. And to me, that is everything. So if you're one of the shady characters that's leaving these hate messages, Come on, son. Yo, go talk to your girlfriend or something. Or go complain about, I don't know, anything. You know, how your ball sack is dirty. I don't know. So, guys, I'm going to go over the Randall RH200 uh, G2. So, from my understanding, they actually had an earlier model, which was the G1. I don't know if they called it G1, but that one apparently had a lot of issues with heating. So... Uh, apparently, if you had the original version, uh, it would just get so hot to the point where it would just either turn off or it would blow the fuse, and that's why they created the G2. They made a few changes, upgraded a few things, uh, fixed the heating issue that they had, and I don't know what they did with the G3, but there's actually another model north of that, but if you get the Randall RH100 or the RH200, Either one uh, being at least the G2, I can't imagine that they would have reverted back to the G1 with the G3. So stick to the G2 and the, and the G3. Um, so this thing, complete solid state. And if you are watching this channel, then you probably know who Dimebag Daryl is. And you know that he spent his entire career uh, just endorsed and playing Randall Amps and mainly their solid states. So... You know, all of my other amps, for the most part, are um, are tube-driven, but this thing for... Where is it that way? So, uh, the Randall RH200, for being a solid-state amp, is absolutely mind-blowing and brutal. And here's the one thing. So, my buddy ended up posting it on Craigslist locally, and he was selling it for 250 I thought it was 250 for just the head. He wanted 250 for the head and the matching Randall 412 cabinet, uh, which came with 7080s, which I don't know, a bunch of, bunch of guys don't like the 7080s. It actually sounds good. I mean, it's not a $130 speaker, but at 70 bucks, that thing's still cranks. So mind your manners. Anyway, um, so this thing, you'll hear it in a, in a, in a, in a little bit. Um, so if you're looking for brutal tones, and not that this is going to sound like, you know, dime bags, you know, mid mid eighties, uh, RG 100 ES. Cause that's kind of like in a league of its own. Uh, but this is basically, you know, everything that came after that. So they're in the ballpark to some degree, you know, with varying differences, you know, this one actually has a contour knob that you can just play around with, uh, and shape your tone and the EQ. Um, so the whole thing is this guy you can actually find for about 200 bucks i've seen it as low as 170 so it's not something that's necessarily hyper expensive i mean if you're gonna go for tube stick for tu stick with tube but you already know you're gonna spend an arm and a leg uh, unless you're lucky you know that's just 
that doesn't happen often. Uh, but if you want something that's in the $200 range uh, and you are familiar with Pantera's tone, you can get yourself this RH200 and just completely kill it. So I'm going to go ahead and run my ESP, my 1991 ESP M2 Custom with the Seymour Duncan Nazgul in the bridge, brought to you in part by my boy Dilo Roman down in North, Cal uh, North Carolina, who sent it to me. He's just like, dude, I have this pickup. You want it? I'm like, yes, absolutely instantly fell in love with it. Um, so let me switch over and get this guy running. Okay, guys, so I'm running guitar right into the Randall, and that is it. It's quiet, it's incredible, it's coming out of my Mesa 412, and uh, hopefully if you guys run into this amp and it's relatively inexpensive, then you'll buy it and be comfortable enough to know that it's going to sound incredible once you get it back home, so have a listen. <laughs> What's up guys? So there you have it again, the Randall RH200 G2. And again, listen, it's relatively inexpensive. So if you end up running into one and you're up on the fence trying to figure out if you should buy it, yes, you should totally buy it. For me, it is without question one of the better solid state amps that are out there. Another one is my Marshall 8100. It's voice significantly different than the Randall is, uh, but if you're into early 90s death metal like Death or Obituary, you're going to be able to use that 8100, and same thing, dude, 200 bucks in that ballpark, so, you know, you can't sleep on these solid state amps, you know, you don't really, everyone's into this whole must have a tube, and that's great, but, you know, if you don't have two grand to buy a Bogner Ubershawl, or, you know, $30,000 to buy all this, then dude, get for a, literally a couple of hundred bucks, get yourself a Randall and solid state. You're, you're, you're not going to go wrong. You're going to absolutely love it. So guys, you are the absolute best if you are part of the Lewis Torres family. What's up, what's up? I know I got all my brothers and sisters out there, but for everyone else that's a, that's a hater, like, Yo, go watch some other channel, you know what I'm saying? But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like, share, subscribe if you haven't, you jerk. And as usual, I will talk to you soon.